Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos just went shopping, and when the richest man in the world buys something, he buys big. Our Robert Frank got a rare inside tour of the billionaire's $80 million luxury apartment in New York City. It's this week's powerhouse. Is Jeff Bezos living in a museum? Jeff Bezos is spending huge amounts of money, like buying expensive museums or clocks. This makes him seem more like someone with a big goal than just a rich person. It's hard to imagine how rich he is because he makes about $500 every second from Amazon. Bezos is known for owning some of the most stupidly expensive things on the planet. Let us check them out. Number 4 is a super yacht. Imagine a world where money is no object. A world where your wildest dreams can become reality. For Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, that world is a daily experience. His enormous yacht, a floating castle compared to a boat, is one of the most apparent pictures of this. This enormous vessel is not your typical yacht. Being a three-masted sailing boat, wind power is its main source of propulsion. Eco-friendly luxury, huh? The sails could fool you, but this baby is loaded with technology that would make a science fiction author cringe. And the cost? Let's just say it will leave you speechless. Here, hundreds of millions of dollars are at stake. What's it really like on board, though? Imagine large decks, many pools, a helipad, and interiors that would make an excellent feature in a high-end design publication. You may easily forget you're on a boat in this kind of area. Not to mention the accompanying support vessel, which is essentially a smaller yacht on its own. This is what we refer to as leading a luxurious life. At $500 million, the core room made its ocean debut in 2023 and has subsequently taken Jeff Bezos and associates on a global tour. An interesting fact from the New York Post says it has three enormous 229-foot masts and can attain a top speed under sail of 20 knots, or roughly 23 miles per hour. The yacht is designed to accommodate a group of up to 18 people, so Bezos can take his family and friends on vacation with him. Here are some of the ostentatious characteristics of the Koru and the cost of running his floating home. Bezos' yacht is luxurious, as one might expect. Forbes estimates his net worth to be $203.8 billion as of May 2024, so he can afford to outfit the Koru with the best of everything, and he did just that. The New York Post claims that the super yacht has three exterior decks, two of which include swimming pools. It also has a movie theater, numerous lounges, and numerous commercial spaces. Extensively customized, the vessel includes a figurehead inspired by Bezos's fiance, Lauren Sanchez. Because the founder of Amazon opted for in-boom furlers, which keep the canvases at the bottom of the mast above the deck, resulting in a spotless and roomy deck free of ropes, even its masts are opulent. Number 3 is a clock. Now you must be wondering as to why a clock will be among such expensive items. After all, a clock is used to check the time, and after that there is hardly any use for it. But Bezos thinks very differently, unlike everyone else. Yes, a clock so massive it's being carved into a mountain, and it's designed to tick for a whopping 10,000 years. That's the mind-boggling project of tech titan Jeff Bezos. Tucked away in the remote wilderness of West Texas, this colossal timepiece is set to be a testament to long-term thinking. Bezos, the man behind Amazon, isn't just about online shopping. He's got a penchant for the extraordinary. With a price tag of a cool $42 million, this isn't your average grandfather clock. No, this is a monument to time itself. The idea is as audacious as it is fascinating to create something that will outlive civilizations. But why a clock? Well, it's more than just telling time. It's a symbol. A reminder that our actions today ripple far into the future. It's a challenge to think beyond our lifetimes and consider the world we're leaving behind. Whether you find it inspiring or a bit eccentric, there's no denying the sheer scale and ambition of this project. The 10,000-year clock 
or clock of the long now is being constructed deep within the Texas Highlands. The $42 million mechanical clock owned by Bezos will chime once a year for the next 10,000 years. Currently on display at the Science Museum in London is a two-meter prototype of the clock, which is being constructed by the Long Now Foundation. Danny Hillis came up with the idea for the clock in 1986. On December 31, 1999, the first prototype of the clock started to function in time to show the year 2000 changing. The date indication went from 01999 to 02000 at midnight on New Year's Eve, and the chime rang twice. Jeff Bezos' company, Bezos Expeditions, is providing $42 million to finance the production and site development of the full-scale prototype clock. The billionaire owns land in Texas where the clock is being built. Number two is a three-story penthouse in Manhattan. In addition to dominating the internet, Jeff Bezos is also at the top of the real estate industry. It was recently disclosed that he paid $80 million for not one, but three residences in Manhattan, with views of Madison Square Park. Imagine living in a world where money is no object. That's the reality of Bezos, the man behind the Amazon empire. And where better to showcase such a lavish lifestyle than in the heart of Manhattan? The tech titan decided to go big, or rather tall. Bezos snatched up not just one, but three floors of a prestigious Fifth Avenue building. We're talking about a sprawling, three-story penthouse that's probably got more square footage than your entire hometown. This isn't just any penthouse, we're talking multiple bedrooms, bathrooms that could double as small apartments, and enough closet space to rival a department store. But let's get to the juicy details. Rumor has it there are two pools. Yes, two. You can imagine having your own personal oasis in the sky. And let's not forget the observatory. So while the rest of us are craning our necks to catch a glimpse of the stars, Bezos can probably reach out and touch them. It's the kind of place that makes you question your life choices. The magnificent luxury building in Nomad is situated at the highly sought-after 212 Fifth Avenue site, right next to Madison Square Park. Bezos intends to combine all four stories into one enormous penthouse residence, according to the people who talked with the magazine. According to a Street Easy article, the penthouse, which is five bedrooms and five and a half baths, is spread across three magnificent floors of living space, with four extraordinary exposures. The outside areas have an all-encompassing brick wall that provides privacy, making it ideal for the well-known executive whose recent divorce and new relationship with Lauren Sanchez have garnered a lot of media attention. Number one is a historical museum turned mansion in Washington, D.C. Now that is something nobody would have ever imagined, but for Bezos, these are the crazy things he likes to purchase for himself. Maybe he has enough money with himself that he does not know what to do with it. Whatever the case may be, Jeff Bezos and his stories are turning wilder than we think. Imagine owning a piece of history. Not just any history, but a grand old museum. Well, that's exactly what Jeff Bezos did. The man behind Amazon, with his seamlessly endless pockets, decided to turn a historical museum into his personal palace. Can you believe it? This isn't your average house hunt story. We're talking about a massive 27,000 square foot museum turned mansion in the heart of Washington, D.C. Once a place dedicated to showcasing exquisite textiles, it's now a luxurious home for one of the world's richest men. Bezos dropped the cool 23 mil on the historic property, and that's just the beginning. Transforming a museum into a home is no small feat. It's like turning a library into a living room. But Bezos, being the visionary that he is, took on the challenge. With millions more poured into renovations, the historical building is now a blend of old world charm and modern opulence. 
It's a space where history and luxury collide in the most extraordinary way. So the next time you think about your living room, spare a thought for Bezos and his museum-turned-mansion. It's a home that's as fascinating as the stories it holds within its walls. The textile museum was housed on the grounds between two historic homes for nearly nine decades, until 2013. The two buildings together make up an enormous 27,000 square foot property. The museum consists of a marble slab used to construct a staircase, a fireplace made of limestone, a cellar for whiskey. There are 111 doors. Most of them are custom-made mahogany or bronze. According to DC Property Records, the buildings were sold in October 2021 for $23 million to a buyer known as the Cherry Revocable Trust. Situated in the upscale Calorama area, Mr. Bezos would be in close proximity to Ivanka Trump and her spouse, senior Trump advisor Jared Kushner, who recently purchased a new residence on Tracy Place. The two ancient brick buildings on S Street are part of the neighborhood. Additionally, Mr. Bezos lives a short distance from the Obama family home. Do you think Bezos is simply wasting his money by purchasing such useless items and rather he could invest his money in a better way? Do share your thoughts on this in the comments below. For more interesting stories and updates, subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon. Until next time.